Today we're going to be looking at the Yo-Yo Connect from BabyZen, a high-priced accessory intended to allow one to convert the Yo-Yo into a two-seater. As far as Ultra Compacts go, the basic Yo-Yo has really always been my favorite choice, due to a perfect combination of durable minimalism and easy-to-use fold and carry characteristics. Though by contrast, the accessories that BabyZen has released over the years to accompany the model have been more of a mixed bag. And when it comes to the Yo-Yo Connect then, I must unfortunately say that in my opinion, it's just about the dumbest idea they've come up with so far, both in terms of its performance and actual use value in the real world, as well as its mechanics. And to properly explain its faults, it's important that you understand what this accessory actually is to begin with, because it can be a bit deceiving when just looking at pictures. And what the Kinect is then essentially, is a yo-yo chassis with swivel wheels in the back and a coupling mechanism in the front, in lieu of front wheels, which can be locked to the rear frame connection slots of a yo-yo plus or yo-yo 2, previously reserved for wheeled boards. There's also an additional chassis long apparatus for the brakes, allowing one to activate the front real yo-yo with the Kinect's pedal. And with swivel wheels in both the front and rear of this six-wheeled Baby Zen centipede, those two fixed wheels and brake system in the center become a nexus around which the entire construction pivots. Now, the first thing to know here is that wheeling around the Connect does not feel like pushing an inline tandem model. It's a lot more like pushing two yo-yos that have been zip-tied together. And the most frustrating aspect of this in the real world comes with the need to negotiate anything other than completely flat terrain. Because as you can see, pressing down on the Kinect's handle does not tip up the front end. It just causes the whole construction to arch in the middle, forcing one to lean forwards like you're gathering shopping carts and first tip up the frontal yo-yo before then also tipping up the Kinect chassis, just so you can choo-choo chug your train over minor obstacles. The purported advantage of this minimalistic connection is that you can easily remove the Kinect chassis and hang it from the handle of your real yo-yo anytime you need to reduce the model's length. But this is unfortunately also a lot more problematic in the real world than those snazzy advertisements from Baby Zen would have you believe, at least with relation to most of the Kinect's supposed configurations. Because although a two-seat configuration is doable, other than the fact that you can't recline the front model seat, if you throw a newborn in the mix, it's a lot more difficult, because if you have a bassinet in the back, you can't fold and sling the toddler chassis, while with the bassinet in front, the Kinect chassis hangs so far back that it's both unpleasant to walk and is a real tipping hazard as well in my opinion, since newborns don't weigh all that much. And lastly, even if you did somehow make one of these newborn plus toddler setups work for you, in an airport I mean, because as I said, the tipping thing makes the Kinect virtually useless anywhere else, you're still stuck with three carry-on size items, in addition to any actual luggage, when you get to the plane. And I don't know how your airline does it, but my guess is that that much stash is going to be a bit harder to get away with. As far as the mechanics of the Kinect are concerned, the model provides additional problems in my opinion, in particular if used as a sort of regular everyday setup that Baby Zen seems to feel it's built as, due to a variety of clear wear concerns and how the two chassis interconnect. Firstly in the coupling stick locking pins, which will sustain horizontal pressure anytime friction from the environment impedes the swivel of the front or rear wheels as well as downward pressure from the weight of the rear seated child. Secondly, with that overly constructed brake apparatus, which, despite the foresight of adjustment screws, both requires a long train of interconnected moving parts to function quite seamlessly for its operation, while also consisting of long, exposed wires apt to be accidentally snagged or pulled during folding and carrying. And lastly, in the idea of hanging the Kinect chassis from the yo-yo's handle at all, because that sort of weight will significantly wear down the main yo-yo's handle locking mechanisms. From my experience in the workshop, Two types of accessories are responsible for at least half of stroller problems down the line. Rear frame mounted wheeled boards and heavy stuff hung from the handle. The Yo-Yo Connect does both. When I first saw pictures of the Connect, I initially mistook it as a rebuild of the Yo-Yo itself. An alteration in design allowing for the front wheels to be removed so that two otherwise independent Yo-Yos could be tethered together. And to be honest, if it had been this, then a lot of the faults I've criticized in this video would be easier to forgive. Because then it would all have been gain, right? You'd have two yo-yos for two children, and even if hooking them together doesn't exactly make for the same experience as using a dedicated two-child model, it'd still be something, an extra feature, useful in some limited scenarios. But this is not what the Kinect is. Rather, in practical application, it's really nothing more than a luxurious wheeled board attachment that costs the same as the real yo-yo itself. And to me, this makes it a bit of a ripoff. And if I were dead set on having a two-child yo-yo, I'd actually much rather use third-party connectors for putting a pair of real yo-yos together side by side. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.